Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can put an insert inside this window to hide all the imperfections from the kit. Okay, if you look closely, it's got some pretty roughed up imperfections to where you can see it and I'm not really happy with it. Okay, and the same goes for this side. Sorry if it's a little wobbly, it's hard to get in here with the camera. Okay, now this one we've already done, it's actually dry. But if you notice, you don't see any of the imperfections from where the kit was on the roof or down the sides. As you see the roof is like, you can see the creases and then you see the seam there and then the edge at the bottom. And then over on this side, you can actually see where the seam doesn't quite meet the other part of the house because it wasn't long enough when we did it. And the seam there and there. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do is you need to determine what this height is going completely around here. So you want to get yourself a piece of cardstock or poster board, cut it in a thin strip, put it in a circle, roll it up, and put it in there just like that okay put the one side down all the way touching the other side make sure you're pushing it up to the top and then put it down over here and then you're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna trace it right on there when you take it out you're gonna cut where your pencil line is okay after that then you want to determine the width get another piece of cardstock, put it straight back to the back. You are going to mark your line where your wall begins and where your wall ends. And then that's the width you're going to have. Once you have that, you should be able to cut yourself the length and the width. All right. Now you're going to take that piece that you cut. And you can paint this beforehand too if you wanted to have a painted look. All right, and you are going to put that cut piece inside. You have to work at it a little bit to get it in there. That's fine because that means it fits. Okay? Now, once you know that it fits, you want to take it back out, roll it as you're taking it out so you don't bend it. Take some of your Elmer's glue, I put mine on a brush, it just makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to paint inside of here. Now you don't have to paint the entire inside because it's not really going to go anywhere. You just have to put a little bit along the side and the edge, mostly at the bottom. Because if the bottom is sticking, the rest of it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so now I have the glue on there. I'm going to re-roll my paper. Well, not paper, I'm using cardstock. You can also use photo paper for this if you wanted to have a shine. And um, you can paint it beforehand if you want. Okay, so then you're going to press that down in there. You probably want to make yourself a little wedge like I had in the other window. Make sure you have it all even. Get yourself a wet napkin and wipe out any excess glue. Okay. 
Okay, just kind of straighten it up a bit the best that you can. Make sure your bottom is touching on both sides. And then you're gonna take your wedge that you made. Now you don't have to keep this here long, but just kind of long enough to just keep those edges from popping back out. Okay, should take about five or 10 minutes for that to set up and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so while that one's drying, I've got that little first piece of paper that I showed you in here. I'm pushing it all the way to the top, the right side is even. I'm just gonna give you a quick demo again real quick while that's drying before we can move on. Press that down, take your sharp pencil, and mark the bottom. Take that out, and then you're gonna cut on that line. And when you cut on that line, then it's gonna fit in there. All right, Maybe. now <laughs> you wanna take your piece of paper, slide that in there and get the width. Such a small space to work in. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Push it all the way back to the window. Mark your left side. And mark your right side. All right, and that'll give you the width. Okay, so here's the inside of the window. You don't see any of those seams that you saw before. You do see the reflection of the glass on there, though. And if I can get this in there so you can see that. Let me turn it a little bit. There you go. Okay, so there you go. And if you want to paint it ahead of time, you're more than welcome to do that. But again, that's what it looked like before. Remember you've seen those edges and the seams? You don't see that now. Okay, so I just put that one in the same way, and as you can see, now you don't see all of those imperfections. I can get it to focus for you. It's nice and smooth going all the way around. Now, I still have to put something in there to wedge it to push this closer back, but... Once I do, it's there. And also that big old gap that was there before is gone. It's not perfect, but you can't really see the darkness anymore. Again, that's what it looked like before. And then this is what it looks like now. Let me see if I can put this in there. Okay, so here's the finished window on this side. Sorry, just trying to focus it for you. Doesn't want to focus that close. And then you'll just have to go back and touch up the glue areas where the window came through if you see any. But other than that, that's it. Hmm. Thanks for watching and follow Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials for more DIY. Or you can also follow my Pinterest page under Laurie Holden Heisler. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.